Hey Siri, set a timer for one hour. One hour, starting now. Let's go. I'm on a journey to collect all the sets of Pokemon, and today I'm attempting to complete Fossil from 1999. But earlier today, I spun this wheel and told myself that whatever it landed on, I have to complete. And if I fail, I give away all the cards and start again from scratch. One hour? Why did I write this? Come on, I don't even know if there's a trade night going on tonight. I can't drive to all the different shops around town in just an hour. Ah. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be kind of crazy, but I'm going to a place that I've never been to before, but I've heard about it in Legends. So uh, let's fast forward and just get there. And here it is. No, wait, that's Benny Hanna. It's around the corner. There it is, Frank and Son Collectible Show. 200 individual vendors all in one spot. This is my best chance to complete this challenge in one hour and keep all my cards. What the heck, where do I even begin? I have no clue where I'm going to go first, but all I know is... Hey Siri, set a timer for one hour. One hour, starting now. It's time. Let's go. Where do I even begin? This place is huge, and the hardest part, I'm gonna be distracted by all this cool stuff around me, like this. Ooh, we got like a Rick and Morty portal. <gasps> As the clock is ticking and I look around for Pokemon cards, and oh my gosh, not this Machamp again. Let me tell you about Fossil. Fossil has 62 cards in its set, which includes 15 holographics, but the hollows I'm not super worried about. It's all the random non hollows because in our jungle video, that's what we were missing, which led to this. So we're just missing how Two many more. cards? Two more cards. And they're just non holo rares. And then this. Got the chip. <laughs> And yeah, that's never happening again, at least the chip part of it. Uh, 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 uh. So I'm walking around and then all of a sudden, I think I hit Pokemon Lane because we got Pokemon cards over here. We got Pokemon cards over there. Behind me, everywhere I look, there are vendors selling Pokemon cards, but I gotta find one that has a lot of cards but isn't super busy because the clock is ticking really fast right now. Ooh, this cabinet's nice. Let's ask. Uh, I'm looking for fossil unlimited singles. Fossil unlimited singles? Are you trying to finish another set? Yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no problem. Which fossils were you looking for exactly? Literally starting from scratch. Starting from scratch, like foils or not foils? This man is asking all the right questions. I like him. Bob, what's your name, by the way? Uh, my name's Devin. Devin. Devin, thanks, man. Devin, my man. And he's already pulling out some cards for me. But wait, no, I don't need the first edition stuff. I'm not insane. This is looking really good. He's pulling out some hollows. He's got some non hollows in there. This is going to be a great start. But there's just one problem here. This is taking much longer than I thought it would. It's not Devin's fault though. I mean, look at him. He's making sure he's giving me the customer the best condition cards that he has, which is exactly what you want. But when you only have 45 minutes left, it's a little different. I mean, I don't want to be rude, right? So I'll, I'll sit here. I'll put my hands together, wait patiently, wait and wait and wait. And... But then Devin was kind enough to remind me about this. At least it's only 60, 62 cards? Yes, 62 cards, that is true, but I still have none because I still have to pay for these. And in true Devin fashion, he's careful to calculate everything so he doesn't overcharge me, which again, I appreciate. But one by one, he's going through, checking the market value, and I'm checking my watch, and 15 minutes has already gone by. And so I wait, and I wait a little bit more, and after eight minutes go by, it's finally time to pay. And this vendor only accepts Venmo, so I open the app, I scan the QR code, and of course, so I just like, being really slow right now. I don't know what's going okay. on. It doesn't work. So I try again and it's just hanging there. I don't know why if this is like an internet thing or just bad luck or whatever, but this challenge is over if I can't pay for these. Come on. It's not working. No. And then finally I pay once again and... Awesome. Thank you. We're good. We got the cards. We got the Ditto Hollow, the Hypno Hollow, Magneton Hollow, Muck Hollow, the Dragonite Hollow, one of the best cards in this set. And the condition's really good too. Thank you, Devin. The Raichu Hollow, Articuno Hollow, the Lapras Hollow, the Zapdos Hollow, the Haunter Hollow, the Hitmonlee, and the Aerodactyl Hollow too. The next pile, we got the Gengar Hollow. This page is almost done, which looks really amazing. The Aerodactyl non-hollow rare, the Dragonite non-hollow. I think I put them in the wrong spot, actually. I'm feeling the pressure right now and then finally the Moltres non hollow that's 16 cards out of 62 25 percent basically so we're off to a decent start but that took a very long time is, i mean is this even going to be possible at this point and it was right then that i noticed devin already laid out a bunch of other non hollow cards that i needed which is perfect thank you devin i was curious to see how much this was all going to cost i'll do 15. 15 for all this yeah. okay perfect trying to help you complete it yeah no thank you Devin, the man, thank you so much. Time to pay again, but let's hope Venmo doesn't hang up on me again. And all right, now we're talking.
All right, let's put our pickups in the binder and see where we're at. And is that Devin getting penny sleeves ready for me? Yo, this is full service right here. Thank you, Devin. Oops, we got a dupe of the Moltres. That's all right. The Raichu non-hollow. We got the Graveler over here, the Magmar, and then counting the slots. Psyduck, Tentacool, Horsey, Geodude, Shelder, Golduck, and Krabby. 4, 8, 9, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. All right, 27 cards in out of 62. We're over a third of the way there, which is great. We got a little bit of work to do and we're already at a half hour left. This is going by so quickly. Remember, if I don't complete the entire set in an hour, everything that I've collected, I have to give away. I have most of the hollows right now, but I really want to fill in the uncommons and commons because the hollows shouldn't be a problem anymore, right? The hollows shouldn't be a problem anymore, right? And so as I walk around this Costco size collection hall, I think my best bet is to find a vendor who's got a ton of those bulk white giant boxes in the back, right? Similar to what I remember Brad having at TC's Rockets when we were finishing base set in a video from a while back. A vendor like this one. And look, she's even sorting bulk right now. Fossil, maybe? Well, we'll see. Hi. Question, sir. Yes, do you have any Fossil Unlimited singles? We do. I need all of them. Take care of them. Fossil Unlimited singles, if you have any. Unlimited single packs? Uh, single uh, cards. I could get packs too? Hmm. As tempting as that is, I need singles ASAP. And this is James, who was summoned to save me. I need all of them. Take care of them. I like how he knew exactly where to go. This is gonna be good. Which Pokemon exactly? I need like half of the set. I'm trying to complete it from scratch in an hour and I'm halfway there. Oh my gosh, he's literally bringing the whole thing over. I never thought I'd be so happy to see so much bulk. I offered to just look through it all myself and he's all... No, no, I'm going to just tell me which ones you want. I can't really have you look. Oh, okay. James, whoa, dude, dude. I respect that. Plus, he probably knows I need him more than he needs me right now. So you steer the ship, brother. I pull out my phone to get a set list to read off and wow, there's a shining Charizard like right there from Neo Destiny. That's gonna be a really fun set to complete. So subscribe so you don't miss that one in the future. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. I start calling off all the non-foil cards I need one by one. So we're gonna do the uh, Articuno and Ditto non-hollows. Articuno and, uh, uh, and Ditto. How much do you care about? Uh... The condition's fine. Like it doesn't matter as much. Then we got the Gengar. Haunter. And at this point, we're dancing. Kabutops, Lapras, Muck. Back and forth and back and forth. He's saying all the right things to me. This almost seems too easy at this point. He's giving me exactly what I need. And as I try to keep this video family friendly, I want to tell you about another thing I'm trying to keep family friendly. My big event card party happening in Anaheim, California near Disneyland in June of 2023. That's right, I'm putting together a live event to bring Pokemon fans like you and Pokemon creators together. Some of your favorite creators are gonna be there and this will be a fun Comic Con style event with panels, fun activities, challenges, prizes, and of course, lots of Pokemon vendors and items to add to your collection too. Check it out at card.party and tickets are available right now. And the earlier you get in, the cheaper it will be. And yeah, check out the website to see who's gonna be there and I hope to see you there, card.party. All right, James just pulled out a bunch of cards for me. That's, I'll take the lot. It's time to figure out how much this is all gonna cost. So one by one, he's looking up the market value of these cards, and as it's happening, I check my clock. Do we have less than 20 minutes? Just in case, I look through the cabinets to see if there's any of the hollows I need in there. I couldn't find any, but I did find these. Ooh, gold Pokemon. Could use that in the last challenge. And as I'm waiting, I also look in the back and see an Evolutions booster box for $1,500. Bruh. Bruh. I mean, am I gonna have to pay a million dollars for these commons and uncommons? I hope not. The total is gonna be 4730. So I pay with Venmo and it's working just like it should, and boom. Here's your card. Alrighty. We got him. Now I need to find a spot to put these cards into the binder ASAP. Um, 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 um. Okay, I'm gonna go on this trash can here. I'm just missing the Kabutops and the Moltres Hollow, and then we're done. Yep. That's right, James had every single non-holo that I needed. I'm just missing two more cards and we're good. But as I get these cards into this binder, I realize I don't have any sleeves. I'm practicing bad binder behavior. And we can't have that happening. Nope, nope, can't do this. I need, I need penny sleeves. Ugh, this is eating up time, but I'm not about to put sleeveless cards into a binder because remember kids, only you can prevent bad binder. 
kinder behavior. So I go back to James. Actually, may I buy some penny sleeves? I pay for some penny sleeves and then head back to my home. I mean, trash can. I'm gonna go here. We got 14 minutes. Oh my gosh. And with 14 minutes left, I'm starting to feel a little frazzled here. And then I make another rookie mistake and take out all the penny sleeves, which I don't need all of them. Why did I do that? I shouldn't have done all of them. Oh my gosh, now this is gonna be a mess. Okay, first we gotta sleeve these guys up. Sleeve, 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 sleeve. Boom. Now it's time to put them in the binder. Boom, 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 boom. Meanwhile, people are just walking by, looking at a guy with a camera on his head, leaning over a trash can, putting Pokemon cards into a binder. And I promise you, I've never said those words in that order before. Then finally, after burning more precious minutes. This is the uh, Kibu Tops. And, uh, hello. We're now at 62 out of 64 cards. We're only missing two hollows. That's it. 852. And it's at this point, I start to get a little crazy. Kibu Tops, Moltres. Kibu Tops. Moltres. Okay, let's check with these guys. How's it going? Uh, I was wondering if you had any unlimited fossil singles. In particular, I need the Moltres Hollow and the Kabutops Hollow. Yeah. You looking for the Hollow version? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't have it? That's a no-go, and I'm not feeling so great at this point. We just have a few minutes left. Moltres, Kabutops, Moltres, Kabutops, Moltres. Six minutes and 12 seconds, oh my gosh. I'm checking out the cabinets here, and then all of a sudden I hear this guy in the back say something to me. What? Yeah. It's a fan of the channel. I can't not say hi, of course. Yo, how's it going? Good, Nice to meet you, what's your name? Joseph. Joseph, nice to meet you. Hi, you got a Pokemon card. Hi. The one that had the Pokemon binders. Right? Yeah, yeah. And you did a goal challenge? Yep. Oh, yep. dude, great meeting you, bro. He's the, he's the video uh, I was watching. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Joseph and his family are awesome, and I wish I could stay a little bit longer and chat, but I have just a few minutes left. But I didn't want to leave without giving them something as a thank you. Oh, here's some sleeves. Oh, <laughs> And so I got the uh, 250K Deep Pocket Monster coin. What? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate it. Hey, ney. nice to meet you, Joseph. <laughs> Thank you, Joseph and family. I appreciate you. So right there, I asked the guy in this area if he has any of the cards I need. No? Okay, cool. Thank you. Swing and a miss, of course. But at least he knew he didn't have it right away, which gives me some time to look around a little bit more. And that's when I stumble across this vendor right here. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I'm looking for a Kabutops or a Moltres Hollow from Fossil. Yeah, sure. Oh, no way. Okay, just, just in case. I see Kabut, Kabut, is that a non holo Kabutops? Yeah, it's a non holo uh, Okay, um, I'll take it, I'll take it. I don't even care what the condition is. I'm only 15 bucks. 15, okay. We got the Moltres Hollow. I don't even want to put it in the binder right now. I just stick it in my pocket because we don't have time. I am speeding through Frankenstein right now, checking every cabinet that I can. Nope, no Kabutops here. I checked with this guy. You don't have those? Okay. Thank you. No Kabutops here either. Literally three minutes left. I look up and I see Lapras and he's like, yo, you just don't have much time. What are you gonna do? There's just a couple more vendors I haven't checked out yet. I'm looking around, no Kabutops in this huge cabinet. And then I check this cabinet over here right behind it. And then as I'm scanning through, always comes down to one single card. Come on, Kabutops, 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 Kabutops. Holy crap. Yo, yo, right there. There it is. Help, help me. I'm like, I don't even care what the condition is right now. Yes, yes, that's perfect. Okay, I'll take it. What's your name? Adrian. Adrian, thank you so much. This is massively helpful. And we literally have one minute remaining. I give this man my credit card, give him a tip on his app, and then it happened. 49 seconds left. Is this now mine? Dude, yes. Thank you, can I have a hug? No problem. Oh. Thank you, we did it. We did it. I cannot believe it came down to the last few seconds again. I'm like high-fiving people just because I head back to my trusty trash can to see how much time we have left. 24, 23. Oh, we should put it in the binder real quick. I mean, does this even count if it's not in the binder? Kaboo tops right there, is that is that right? No, that's wrong. Uh, no, that's right, that's right. Now I'm scrambling like I totally forgot how to count and... Five, four, three, two, one. We did it. Done. Fossil from 1999 is now complete. Why does it always come down for the last few seconds? We finished Fossil in one hour, thanks to this amazing place called Frank and Sons. If you wanna see me complete more sets that are gonna be more challenging down the road, why do I still have this on? Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. We did it, dude.